Jenny Jones car out there one, man. You already know what it is. Uh, sitting there chilling at the crib. Um, I should say my girl crib, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, she goes for sitting sound sitting there. That's the coffee table, by the way, if you didn't know. This video goes out to my dude, uh, my builder, by the name of James Aho. Um, and James, I hope I pronounced that right this time. Um, I know it's kind of frustrating. Um, getting your name pronounced wrong, and I have pronounced it, if you're curious, um, viewers in the past is James Aho, and um, his name is actually James Aho, so um, if you guys do happen to run into him and slam or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, you'll know how to pronounce that, once again, that's James Aho, so, um, you know, just get it right, besides the point, um, I'm shooting this video today because I'm going to go over my house system again and what I run here in the house, which was formerly in the uh, Cavalier. So a lot of my viewers already know this type of information. Um, if you guys don't want to stick around for the video, I've been over this video, this particular video, for now, like the third or fourth time. It's only changed up a couple of times, um, the way the amps sit on the board and whatnot. Of course, a lot of you guys have seen that on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Jay Jones Car Audio one um, but anyway, let's get into this video. So what I have running in the house here is um, an audio pipe 1800.1. As I try to zoom in on that, of course it will, won't focus. There it is. APCL 1800.1. And then I've got a uh, Hyphonics um, Zeus 1000. Which is right there, 1004, um, ZRX 1004, and then you see the Zeus, um, those are both being powered by a Pyramid PSV 300, as you can see the name right here, if you ever want to Google that, or you want to look that up, or whatever it is, PSV 300 right there, um, of course, you know, Hoosiers in this motherfucker. Excuse my language, PSE. I apologize for that if you see this particular video. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, of course, um, from the PSV, it's zero gauge, ran out. And I have that ran out to distribution blocks, which I have a positive and a negative, of course, marked out there on the board, as you can see. Um, I've got four gauge running to the um, Audio Pipe 1800.1. And four gauge as well ran out to the um, uh, to the ZRX thousand I four the Zeus which is the four channel. Um, as you can see, sky high everywhere. You see that sky high reducers um, on the uh, on the thousand I four, and I am running um, a couple speakers which we'll go ahead get into as we go on. Um, I just want to see this or I just want to show you this power on. So you know that this is the only thing running these particular amps in this house. I've got, and this runs at 13.8 constantly, all the time, even with the music playing. I've got a voltmeter up here to show you that, to prove that. I can't play any music right now because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, so. But I just want to show you this. So I hit the, this power button right here, and this uh, PSV um, 300 also runs the head unit. So the head unit, the 1800.1, and the Hyphonics. Is also ran off of the uh, PSV 300. If you don't know about these particular switching DC power supplies, I suggest you do your homework and look into those. Not necessarily you, Aho, just to anybody else that happens to uh, view this particular video. So as you see, my thumb is on the switch, and as I hit that, the Hyphonics powers up, and we have a blue light. And if you know anything about audio pipe, you know you know that that's got power. So, uh, we're on the uh, radio station right now, so I'm going to switch that over to the auxiliary, just so it stops making noise. I also have that couple with a uh, JVC head unit with a Boss um, AVA-1204 equalizer. If you don't know about that particular Boss product, also do your research, because that Boss product is a Boss, for sure. It does its thing. Um... And as you can see, it's running at 13.8. It's fluctuating 13.8, 13.9. Um, as you can see that right there. What we have running in the house are these two Rockville 
super, 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 super tweeters. They're the biggest tweeters I've ever owned. Um, these particular sound stream tweeters that you see in the front are not hooked up. Those are what came out the Cavalier off the prior doors. Um, if you know J. Jones Car Audio 1 and you rock with me like that, you would already know that. Switching modes. Um, let's go over here to the substage. Or, excuse me, I have some backfield speakers back here. Which are also running at this particular point. They're just some Philips 5.1 surround speakers. They're nothing special. But they also run uh, along with the uh, Rockville tweeters that are down there. So the Rockville tweeters up front. The Philips 5.1s in the back. Um, then it's ran by this HDC4 for the substage. HDC4 15. Uh, box tune the stupid low like 29 to 30 hertz. We'll just leave it there. Um, gets crazy low. If you don't know about that, go back and watch uh, Jay Jones Can't Hit Them Lows video. And you'll know all about this box getting stupid. And it was ran off of this 1800 Ot 1 and the Hyphonics uh, Zeus ZRX 1000 Ot 4 was running the mids and highs in that particular video. Um, I also run these from time to time. These are some Brazilian Sounds 15s. Um, these are the Gold Series. And I've got all kinds of videos on those. If you don't know what that is, do your research on that and get back with your boy. It's a hit stupid low. Um, we we're also talking about uh, Aho. We're also talking about these door panels. Um, these are the, uh, the particular pods um, that are going to be going on these door panels. Um, so here they are. They're not connected or anything right now. I just wanted to give you a basic mock-up of how they're going to look and how they're going to be. This um, pod right here. It's going to sit something like this on the door, like that. And then I'm going to have a tweeter down here in the factory location. But this time, if you see my doors from the prior, and if you haven't seen them, I hope, I suggest you go back to my YouTube and check those out. I have several videos on just those doors alone. I was running American Bay 6.5 um, SQ series sealed back, and they're, they were lovely. They did me great. Um, so the tweeter is going to sit down here. Which is also on my IG, if you don't know, uh, Aho. It's on my uh, IG account. Um, I think they're Audio Tech or something like that. I got four of them. Um, I'm also going to run the PRVs in the Cavalier at some point. I think I'm going to put them on the uh, the uh, the side walls of the particular wall that we have built in there or that you built. Um, but that's basically how the six and a halfs are going to sit on the doors. And, uh, of course, like I said, I'm going to have a tweeter down here for the 10th time. And uh, it's going to be in the factory location, so there's no need to cut this out anymore. Because last time I cut this out, and I had a six and a half sitting there. Um, so this is a brand new door panel, a brand new build. And I want to keep it halfway legit so it looks halfway decent, even though we know loud isn't always pretty, right? So I also wanted to bring out, oh, and just look at those back door pods. These are going to go in my back windows, I hope. Um, the same fabric that's on the wall. You know, here they are. Let me back up and try to get them in the, in the shot. Um, of course, we got the passenger side and we have the driver side. And um, these are going to go in the back, uh, the back windows. And when I roll the window down, these will be facing out. So for anybody outside that's waiting to get a demo or whatever, or however you see that, um, they'll also be able to hear the music while they're waiting or whatever. This is the amp. Just in case you thought I was BSing with you, Aho. This is the Terra Amp AK. I got this around the same time that I got the uh, that I got the first HDC 18. Um, of course, everybody knows now that I have two. Um, and I'm sorry that the video quality wasn't all that um, last time that we spoke or last time that you seen the particular demo, which was great for me. But I know it kind of sucked for you guys because I don't have any mids and highs and things of that nature in there right now. But um, don't worry, we'll be able to float that towel real soon. Um, this is the HDAK, and as you can see, it's not open. This is a sealed package. Sealed. Nothing has been taken out of the package. This is brand spanking new. Um, so I will be um, doing a uh, unboxing video on this particular amp, even though I've owned it for probably five months now. I've just never taken it out of the package because, I mean, what was the use? I mean, back then I didn't have no batteries, and I, I would have brought those out here, but they're just so damn heavy. There's no need for me to run through all that. Um, 
but just know that I got them. Like I said, 2XP, um, 3000s. And uh, if you guys want to do your research on that and get back with me, you already know the deal. Um, but I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. This is just a rundown, basically, for James Aho, my builder. Um, and we're communicating right now and having a uh, a bill going down. I'm not going to tell nobody what that is, you know, just in case it doesn't happen to go down. But uh, Aho, you already know the deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming at you, like I said. With the four or five hundred, everybody knows about the four or five hundred. If you don't, go back and do your research on YouTube and get back with you. Get back with me, excuse me, and uh, let me know what you guys think about a, uh, you know, we'll just say a wall going down in there. We won't necessarily say what it's going to be or anything like that at this particular moment. But if you know James Aho, then you know what he's known for, and I'll just throw that hint out there and let you guys, you know, do your own research on that. You can come up with uh, whatever you want, but um. If that bill doesn't happen, or we can't get on a figure as far as that going down, then these are what's going to be going out there. And believe when I say, these are what's up. Um, if you don't know about these, do your research as well. And uh, holler back at your boy. Anyway, I know it's been over 10 minutes, and I apologize for that. A-ho, I hope I gave you everything you need. Um. If you need anything else following this particular video as far as what the house system consists of or you want to hear it or something like that, we can maybe set that up at a later time. But it's like, like I said, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now, so not going to be able to make that happen at this particular moment. Of course, my neighbors and everybody else is home, so um, that's a little bit as to why we can't do that at this particular moment. But uh, peace and love and uh, deuces.